Aquarius, this is your February 2021 tarot reading. So happy birthday to all the air signs out there, Aquarius air signs. So hope you guys all enjoy your birthday season and um, enjoy Valentine's Day and all the uh, fun holidays that they have in February. For fun, I was just looking up different uh, holidays in the month. Some of them kind of make me laugh, but it's all in good fun, you know. So we're going to do a, a layout reading, then we're going to do um, a financial reading and a love reading, okay? So let's get started. And then we're going to do the I Ching cards. I did a review. I did some review videos, so check those out because I like to put some of my little opinions in there and, um, you know, you might find something useful through the video that helps the views help and clicking like helps the channel so thank you guys for watching so let's get the mind ready for this reading set your intention maybe some of the cards will relate to you maybe the whole reading will what doesn't relate to you it's for someone else The main issue is the Page of Swords, okay? So all the cards are lined up there. The Page of Swords. This card is talking about you, either you want to do something that you are really passionate about. So you're curious about something, you are on a journey to do something new. And this is going to be requiring you to be very communicative, right? Talking a lot, um, being very aware. So this is some kind of new endeavor that you're on, okay? And it's going to require the Six of Pentacles, and that is the challenge. So for some of you, it could be the lack of financial support or money or, or um, being creative with money. Okay, so this is sharing money. So it has something to do with giving and receiving. Okay, so making sure that your money is right as you go forward. What can ground you or this could be a distant past experience was the Knight of Cups. So make sure that you're looking at things realistically, right? That's going to ground you and going into it with a positive attitude with with um, being charming, you know, and having a plan, being tactful with your next endeavor where you're going. Now, your recent past was about the Page of Cups, so it's it's an experience of charm again. So you're 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 in this kind of charming mode of um, your emotions and what you feel that you need for yourself. So you're needing this change, and the main thing is giving and receiving so it has to do with monetary actions it has to do with with love it has to do with um the right words the right situation so make sure that you are not looking at it as a dream but how you can make it reality okay and the queen of wands is going to make it reality Yes, the Queen of Wands is going to make it a reality, okay? It's going to be about how you can turn something into um, nothing or, or a limited amount into something great. She is filled with creativity and passion. So this is going to take a lot of belief in yourself, a lot of passion, a lot of determination. Your future is the fool. So there's definitely a new start with this, with this page of of swords right here and this fool they're they're both really on a journey okay so this is really good it's a fresh start it's not having any fears or limitations in your mind and also this experience can be a freeing experience maybe you're, you're changing up your life and this is like a freeing experience for you okay so that's your immediate future it's like a new start now, this is how you see yourself or situation affecting it, and it's the Ace of Swords. When the Ace of Swords is coming, it's a direction. It's like um, something new coming in, and it's it's prosperous for you, okay? 
the the queen of swords is reminding you of things happening outside of yourself or your attitude towards something outside of yourself and being control of your emotions as you're moving forward because that's where you're going to get most of your blessings and good relationships and and just good things working out based on how you can master your queen of cups okay so really look into that queen of cups your hopes and your fears is the tower that things will fall apart or not really work out the way you want it to but incorporate some planning really look into this knight of cups energy to help you um have some kind of foundation some kind of grounding energy the final outcome is a strength card so it's like a leo so maybe you can get advice from a leo that you know in your life or um, knowing that there's a strong partner uh, coming up for you or a strong partner that you have now in your life that's a fire sign that can help guide you to make the right financial decisions or the right planning for whatever it is that you're coming up with in 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 the future in this month okay so three things you can do right now king of cups here is the same element okay the the, the other half of the queen of cups right here is coming in with calmness in like the fears you know any kind of little fears that may come up when you're on that full journey or that page of swords journey the other thing that you, the other uh three things that you can do is recognize the wheel of fortune in your life so this card is so powerful for you know the three things that you need to do because it's a state a change in status the rich becoming poor or the poor becoming rich so it's a change in status right so be mindful of why ask yourself why am i doing this where am i going and if you know it feels right within you then you're doing the right thing if there's any doubts or whatever you know um some doubts are fine but if it's a strong strong if the if the doubt is stronger than the yes this is right and i feel like a lot of you know that yes if this is right okay so this card is just reminding you of change this is a definite change coming up the third thing that you can do is two of Pentacles be grounded in chaos um, uh, be grounded in your balance even though there is chaos so keep your, your mind focused all right and a reminder to be focused now let's check in with the financial message what these cards can mean financially so the first one I feel like shuffling some more financial reading for Aquarius February 2021 what's the message they need to know uh, positive here so nine of cups remember that year past has a lot of experience so financially you don't have to worry you've got what it takes don't worry three of swords use your knowledge and your awareness of the three of swords meaning okay be aware the powerful message is that nothing will be perfect with money so you can either fall or you can rise so when you feel like you've hit a tough uh, time financially know that it's not going to last for a long time you can make changes the four of cups is reminding you again yes it's reminding you again that you have choices i love when the cards show up like that you have choices so financially you have choices i like when they show up like that all right love let's go love okay love reading so seven of wands all right so just be prepared for um if this one relates to you this could be taken as the past you were in bad relationship it might scar you from thinking of getting into a few future relationship maybe you feel like you don't want one you just want to live happy and you know do do the relationship your way not traditionally but just being happy or traditionally okay so it all depends but just being prepared for maybe an argument in love too or fighting for love but when when this shows up it's like you know it's not like toxic like fighting for someone that doesn't want you but just be aware of, of some kind of negative negativity right and it's up to that other person to be as strong about it as you are okay right okay so the hangman okay strong i feel like strong is blocking negativity towards the relationship if that makes sense okay so the hangman representation in love is really a beautiful one of uh understanding that there's new ways of looking at love and understanding love so i feel like you're just gonna have 
a, a, a realization of someone that was probably right under your nose, right in front of your face that you didn't realize, or the best person for you. Um, this could also just mean that um, you unexpectedly will find someone that you are attracted to. It can mean that you can't rush anything when it comes to love as well, okay? It can also mean that, uh, especially if you're single, okay, just not rushing into things. And it could also be being patient with your partner, okay, if you're in a relationship as well, all right? Then the other love meaning is the devil card. So just be mindful of how you are attracted to a person and it could become toxic and, um, you know, just understanding the real meaning of love. And maybe it also represents you getting in control of, of um, how you love too. Okay, it doesn't always have to be negative. It could be you finding your power in understanding how to love. And just make sure you don't go too toxic with it, but it's just you finding your power and saying, you know what? I'm always losing in love or something like that, if that's the case, or just finding a new way of loving where you're not um, being, you're free and you're not really trapped in it or <clears throat> being used, okay? So you can look at it in any way that you want. It doesn't have to be what someone thinks it initially means, all right? So let's look at the I Ching of Love cards. I did a review on this so you guys can watch the review video that helps um, the channel and you can even get some good information out of it. It's not only for the channel, but I like to give you guys some good info content. So let's look at the I Ching of Love. So it's something to ponder on, to think about, okay? So you have 23 and it is um, the wear and tear of time, okay? So that's the card. All right, so let's see the meaning. So what I got from the meaning of this card is that love has a lot to do with time, right? Life is time. So things will perish. <clears throat> Excuse me. Love, you know, time, time, things will perish. So, you know, when love comes and goes, being still like a mountain, you know, and just letting yourself, you know, be, you know, in time. So I'll read it. So this one is... Um, I hope I wrote the correct one. Yes, I did. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Okay, so 23, the wear and tear of time. Despite love opening up to something eternal, since it is born in time, it is destined to perish, despite the best intentions. The oracle indicates the attitude to adapt remain firm as a mountain keep an absolute stillness and let yourself be crossed by what happens to you this will also pass so and let yourself be crossed by what happens to you so i don't know what the meaning because when you're crossed you're upset so i'm not really sure to be honest with you guys like let's just talk here um, I'm not sure of what that meaning means or if it's just like a, a interesting um, way of um, interpreting it. So let me look at this and see if I can figure it out. If I can't, I'll come back and say I can't. So what I feel, and someone correct me or, you know, just share, you know, but I think it's saying just let yourself, it's okay to let yourself be upset about what happened, you know, and that, that upsetting feeling that this will also pass. That's what I think it is, because that's the only definition, um, you know. And in Patois, we use the word crossed a lot. You know, certain, you know, cultures will use certain English words more than others. So I that's what I'm interpreting that to be. Okay, so let's shuffle uh, these love cards that I made. I'm going to close my eyes so I don't see it. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> so I just pick it intuitively. Okay, I feel like this one. Okay, no one is perfect. Love is not perfect. Love takes love and constant caring. And it's basically like the thing that I believe is that people think, okay, I'm in love, the person loves me. Okay, now I can just, you know, do whatever. And no, you know, love is, love is, um, no one is perfect. Love is not, and no one is perfect is not an excuse to be foolish, but no one is perfect. You know, uh, love is not perfect. Love takes love. You have to 
you know, actually love. And it takes constant caring. So I thought that was um, a good write up. And um, yeah, so put that thought in your love potion. <laughs> so thank you guys so much uh, for watching. I'm going to lay this um, one down here. And uh, click like, subscribe, and enjoy most of all. Enjoy February and pull some cards, some love cards for yourself. Uh, set some positive intentions. <clears throat> we have full moons and new moons coming up. And um, I'll put some posts on that. Definitely click on the community page here because I'll just put some, you know, sprinkle some information in there. All right. See you guys next time.